everybody, fellow makers, hobbyists, it's Clint with Custom 3D Specialties, and today we're going to be following up on a product that I did previously from Bluetti uh, PS70. I got my replacement unit in, alright, uh, took about a week or two after dealing with customer service and sending the original unit back, um, but everything worked out and got my replacement so let's open this up and see how it looks hopefully this one traveled better than the last one and everything works properly again nothing on blue eddy that was uh something totally that happened during shipping Ugh. So this is a, let's switch it around this way. So this is a portable power station, uh, 110 volt. It is what it has marked on the top here. Uh, there's a PS70. Packing on these is actually very good. Um, we have our warranty card and certificate. This one does not have an inspector that signed it, but it does have the past QC, and this was just um, inspected on 8-12 of 22, so that was just recently. Uh, ooh, okay, so the previous video, I had had a blue one, it appears... And I got a black one this time. So I'll take the foam off. Take the bag and the silicone pack, silicone pack. And then we have a little box of goodies. So before I open this up, even though I did the last one, we'll go over it again. Let me just roll this around and see if I hear any noises. Nope. And I hit a button there. So inside of our box we have a carport charger, a cigarette lighter, 12 volt charger. You can charge this on the go. We have our AC charger for your normal wall charging. This is a pretty big power brick here. Um, but this is a pretty decent battery. Uh, what did the box say this one? This is a 500 watt, 720 watt hour portable power station. And then we have the uh, MC4, this is your solar charging cables, so that you can charge this with a solar panel. Um, so right there's just three ways that you can recharge this, and two of them are portable. And you don't need to be plugged into a wall to charge this unit, which is very nice. Uh, you can be out camping, uh, be daylight, throw out the solar panel, charge this up, and then you have, uh, you know, charge your cell phone, run a TV, a fan. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go through. Let's go through the instruction book here real quick. Which you again. So in the front of this, you got your main power button. Let's push that. See what happens this time. All right, so everything is connected inside this time. The uh, main motherboard is not broke away, which happened during shipping on the last one. And we get a battery reading. So we have our main power. Then we have our charging input, 
So this is where you would plug all your charging cables into. Just like say, and plug in your car lighter and so forth. And let's see, we have USBs. So if I wanted to use my USB, I hold the button. It now says DC on. And we have one type C. We have two USB 3.0s. And we have two of the regular USB A's. And so I'm gonna got my power bank here, another little one. And let's plug this right on in. And there we go. We are now charging. And it should display. There we go. It is pulling out three watts while charging this right now using the USB A. Four watts. Let's see if I bump it up to the USB 3.0. And still pulling three watts. But as you can see, I'll be able to charge phone, iPad, your um, whatever else runs off of a USB. Uh, some lighting. Okay, so let's turn that one off. And then we have our DC power here. Turn that on. Now our DC came on again. And this is 12 volt uh, plugs. A um, couple different things you can run with this. You don't see these too much often anymore. Uh, I know one thing I could run off of this would be my 3D scanner. Because uh, that takes a 12 volt plug. Um, and then you got your car lighter. So say you got a travel cooler that you could plug into your car cigarette lighter. Well, now you can take that out of the car and plug that right into here. While having your solar panels hooked up, charging this unit. And you'll have power all day, all night, keeping that cooler nice and cool while not running your car. So turn that off. And we have for AC outlets. Yes, your normal AC plug. Uh, let me grab one. Uh, your normal plug outlet. Plugs right in like yay. So you could run a TV, a fan. Um, let's see. They give you some examples in here, I believe. Yeah. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So, yeah. So estimated charging times. You can charge a smartphone for 55 to 60 hours with this PS70 unit. Uh, LED light bulbs around 25 to 30 hours if it's a 20 watt light bulb. LED light bulb that is. Uh, you can run a television, a 75 watt television for around seven and a half to eight hours. If you're in a hurricane and power's out, you can make that last for a couple days just checking on the news and sparingly using this to run some lights and charge your phone to keep up on, um, you know, the news that's going on. Uh, electric tools. Around seven to a seven and a half hours as long as they're 80 watts and under. Uh, refrigerator. A refrigerator you can run off of this. Around six and a half yeah, around six and a half, six, six and a half hours, as long as it's a 90 watt fridge. So we may not be able to run a big full size fridge, but a little mini fridge, something to at least pack the meats into and keep them cool. Um, you know, that would work there. And a slow cooker. No power. You got electric stoves. Pop in that slow cooker, take some of that meat out of that fridge, and there you go. You got dinner. All right. So. I mean, that's just a couple examples. You can charge your drones out in the field, any of your photo, elect, uh, photo equipment, um, RC car batteries, uh, whatever the case may be. There's, there's a ton of stuff that you could take this along and be able to charge with. I don't know why I just unplugged this, because what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take, and we're going to turn this on. Oh, safety unit. Now you see I was didn't have anything plugged. This wasn't pulling any type of draw off or anything or uh, receiving a charge. So the unit automatically shut down and went into safety mode so that it does not waste the battery. Now, isn't that nice and convenient? So let's turn the power button on again. Turn on the AC plugs. Again, you have four of these. They're 100 volt to 120 volt, and they're pure shine wave plugs. So that means you get a constant power, uh, no surges, uh, nothing like that. Uh, and up to 500 watts, uh, you can run out of this. So we'll plug this in here again. We'll set that up there. We'll take this, plug that right into there. And look at that. It started charging. And your AC now says on. And in a minute here, it should hopefully pull some sort of draw. <laughs> Again, let me take this time. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe, whichever which direction it is. It's one of these. I always forget. But hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I'm doing new videos. I, I don't only do 3D printing stuff. Um, that is just the main thing I do. Uh, but I do and will share other products that I come across and uh, that I think you may find interesting. Uh, I definitely find them interesting and useful for me. So I'm not getting a draw in here probably because it's really not pulling too much for AC, but you can see it is charging. <clears throat> Let's try one of these just to double check and make sure. And that fired back up, there we go. And we're blinking. Yeah, still not getting the draw, but it's charging. So, turn that back off. And another nice feature about this, you know, this is a, a little heavier unit. It's not like one you just want to, you know, throw in your backpack and, and away you go. Uh, let's see if it gives a weight on here. Um, if I remember right... The shipping package said it was about 25 pounds. So, what I liked on the last one that this one has also is on the back side of this handle here. This is all rubber. This is a nice, soft, squishy rubber. You know, it's not like you grab it onto a plastic handle. Um, this, this, this makes it real nice and comfortable to grab and carry around. Um, and... The other nice thing about this is you have a nice LED in the back back here. And it has three options. This is going to be a little bright. Well, let me turn the unit back on. That's that safety going on. Make sure you save your battery. This is a emergency situation type use. So I'm going to hold this and that's bright. That's medium. Or low and you have SOS so that's I mean this is a very nice very useful unit um, what else can I tell you about it da -da 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 -da. Uh, this does have a battery management system in it, uh, so that is good also. And let's see. For input charging specs, 
10 amps, 12 volts to 45 volts DC. So that's the reason I was looking for that as a reminder. So for solar panel charging, you know, make sure that your solar panel does not give off more than 45 volts. Um, otherwise you could damage your equipment and start fire and that would be uh, not a good thing. So definitely make sure to read your manuals whenever dealing with any type of solar uh, charging or portable power station. Um, and last but not least, we will plug this in and just to double check and make sure that it does receive a charge. But I'd like to say thank you again to Blue Eddy for and their customer service. Uh, for being so responsive and understanding the situation and uh, working with me to get a replacement unit sent out. So we got a green power light and here again. Plug this right into the charging port. That came on and light went red. You hear the fan kick on, and we are charging. So, there we go. Again, this is a PS70, 720 watt hour, 500 watt, portable power station. Service your needs when you need it. I mean, uh, it's a very nice thing to have. Um, definitely will be coming with me on a lot of uh, tests and adventures and seeing what it can do. And then again, this is the black version, which is kind of more like a uh, charcoal gray almost, kind of. So, but yeah, it's a good unit. Um, Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. And see you soon.